وحقوق الله سبحانه وتعالى. In the day of judgment, people will be desperate. And for every five cents, for example, you take unjustly from someone, he will demand an unbelievable number of your good deeds, assuming you have any. SubhanAllah. Also, although, not just against others, although against the nafs, being unjust to yourself, and the greatest injustice to the oneself in the shirk al is to not to know Allah, to live on this dunya and to die without knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, without knowing why you are here, whom to worship, how to live your life. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ أَئِمَّةً يَدْعُونَ إِلَى النَّارِ A'imma is a plural of iman. In the salah, we follow the iman. When he made a ruku'ah, we cannot make a ruku'ah before him. When he makes a jud, we cannot make a jud before him. So at Imam, lahu ma'umun, there are people who follow him. And there are a'imma to khayr and a'imma to shar. There is leaders in goodness and there are leaders in evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about Sayyidina Ibrahim, for example. وَإِذْ تَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُمْ قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا Sayyidina Ibrahim is the test, every test he had, as we said before, Shaykh Atif talked about from being thrown to the fire, about, you know, leaving his wife Hajar and Ismail in the desert, willingness to sacrifice his own son Ismail, all of that. فَأَتَمَّهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him imam, leader to goodness. But when he asked for imama, for leadership, وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِهِ قَالَ لَا يَنَالُ عَحْدُ الظَّالِمِينَ It is not through bloodline or lineage. It is through goodness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about Bani Israel. In Surah Al-Sajda, every Friday we hear this ayah. وَجَعَلْنَا لَكُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَحْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا لَمَّا صَبَرُوا وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُوْكِلُونَ Then to be an imam means suffer and yaqeen in goodness. On the other hand, there are those who are a'imat al-shar, leaders in evil or a'am al-bala. Fir'aun is one of them. He's a leader for every tyrant who follow his footsteps, who oppress people, for example. Right? He's a leader in arrogance. He's a leader in, in every evil thing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, they are inviting others through their deeds, through their example, through the fire, There is no aid for them. He may have some narration say he had a million soldiers. Allah A'am, how many hundreds of thousands of soldiers bound with him? You know, Abu Jah, uh, you know, when he heard the Surah Ibn Dathar, that Jahannam, alayha tis'at ashr, only 19 angels, I have more followers than this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, saying what? فَلْيَدْعُ لَيْدِيَ سَلَمُ عَزَّبَانِيَ let him bring his party, let him bring his club, let us see who will win. In the day of judgment, You are accountable for yourself and yourself only. You cannot, there is no one else will defend you. Even your own father or your own son will not be of benefit to you. No one will aid you but your good deeds or bad deeds or anything like so that's, that's, that's what it is. They had no help in that day from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then in the last ayah, وَأَتْبَعْنَاهُمْ فِي هَذِهِ الدُّنْيَا لَعْنَةً لَعْنَةً The curse is being, you know, not just the bad reputation. You know, al-la'na by the way is like uh, being kicked out of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now, you know, just think of it this way. Fir'aun died, we say, about 7,000 years, right, ago. Every 
one of the worst years in 365 days. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, until the day of judgment, and every day you are presented to the fire twice a day in the very, you know, just how many times, forget about the punishment of the hereafter. SubhanAllah. What kind of, 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 of barzah is this? Right? You know, something like a nafr, disgusting, you know, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, talk about how those who disbelieve in the day of judgment versus those who believe. Those who believe, وجوهم يومئذ مسفرة ضاحكة مستبشرة ووجوهم يومئذ عليها غبرة ترحقها قطرة أولئك هم الكفرة الفجرة. You know, وجوه كالحة يوم تبيض وجوه وتسود وجوه. You know, نحش المجرمين يومئذ زرقة. It's just talk about how ugly they will be just because of the punishment awaiting them and they know what they have done. But I have to that. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us refuge from the judgment uh, from such punishment and to give us, inshallah, just the seerah in this life. So when we pass away, people say we did something good on this earth. Allah Thank you.